Uh, so another option with this motif is just to keep it in C. So you did G. something campfire-y, I'm thinking, maybe. So I think I've settled on combining the two of them, so... I'm going to G here. Still G. for an idea through uh, through a key so like or, probably not gonna fit in this but it's kind of cool um, like we could use that similar though. Uh, but yeah, so we got the bridge out of that, potentially. We'll see what happens. Okay, so here we are on LSDJ. I just put the melody in. Let's give it a listen. So as I was putting this melody in, I started to think that like a campfire sound wouldn't really suit it. And so it was, I think I'm probably going to go with more of like a samba feel. Anyway, so that's the melody. Next up will be the bass. Okay, I've written the bass. Let's take a listen. Again, just sort of following that samba feel I was thinking. And if you look at the bass, it's pretty straightforward. Nothing crazy going on there. One other thing you'll notice in this is I've changed the lead the second time through. And that's just to give it a bit more variation. You know, so it doesn't feel too familiar. It doesn't get too boring. So that's basically it for what I've done. Next will be drums. And here's the drums. Let's take a look. 
So I basically got two sounds happening, this sort of a longer sound and a shorter sound. And I combine them. Uh, the longer sounds are sort of just doing an accented rhythm. Da, 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 da. And the other instrument is just filling that in, basically just giving it a bit more presence. So I've also got an open hi-hat at the end of this sort of four bar phrase. So listening to this now, you can hear the drums have added a lot more forward momentum. So I took a short break, and while I was on break, well, I'm usually on break, uh, I usually try to sing the melody, see if I can come up with any different variations. So I came up with this. We'll see if it ends up getting in there, but... I'll play some chords to get a sense. Let me see here. here. We could do that or we could do So coming back, I've added two parts. We've got the bridge part that I showed you on guitar before, and I've also added an ending part in there. Here's the bridge. So basically sounding pretty much like what I was doing on the guitar. So if you look here, I've added a bass part and a drum part. Here's the bass part. And you'll notice there's a bit more oomph to those. What I've done there is I've just got the pitch dropping really fast. So it sounds a little bit like a kick, but also maintaining the quality of a note. Here's the drum part. I've got a kick sound happening uh, on the same beats as the bass notes, just to sort of give a little bit more of that oomph happening. And here's sort of how I made it. I sort of just found this sound by looking at other tutorials and just messing around a bit. Uh, this technique here, I've got it so that the initial attack is very loud, so it really punches through, but then the volume drops very quickly so that it's not taking up a huge amount of mix space. So you can hear in this, the bass part and the drum part are similar to the first part of the song, but they're just a little bit different, just to create like a slight little bit of variation and feel change. And with that, it's almost done. I filled out Pulse 2, basically with just accompaniment to Melody 1. You'll also notice here I've added a little bit longer of an ending. Uh, we'll get to that in a second though. So here I just want to show you is a technique I use quite a bit where I'll just take this one segment of a song and try different variations. So here's one. So in this I'm using a technique that I use quite a lot. I use it in the drums as well. So I've got this accented sort of melody part with longer notes. And then I've got these sort of shorter notes just in there to fill it out. So here's a slightly different variation. Very simple though. Just, you know, going between C and E, or E and C rather, and D and B. C and F, because the chord changed to F there, but you get the idea. Third one's a bit more complicated. I've got this sort of chordal idea going on with these. Um, and then the other ones, I'm just sort of, again, filling it out, but with sort of this different idea of going between, almost taking like the idea from the last one that I showed you, where it's going between E and C. Uh, and then I'll just show you the bridge part that I came up with. It's basically just arpeggios, very short arpeggios. I've got the L command in there, so there's just a little bit of glide in between those notes. Uh, 
and then just, yeah, messing with wave tables a little bit. I brought up the octave. I could have just done that here or anywhere, but... Uh, and here's the ending. So just going between C and B flat. Pretty simple. And that should be about it. If you made it all the way to this part, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them, and please let me know what you thought of this. I'm on the fence about whether I want to try this again. A lot of it will depend on if you enjoyed it, if you found there was some value in it, you got some insight from it, so please let me know, and again, thank you for watching.